This is a 2014 Ford Focus. It's here for a transmission service. And uh, this vehicle has the power shift transmission. If you're not familiar with that, it's kind of a non-serviceable transmission as far as there's no pan, there's no filter. We're just gonna drain the fluid out and then refill it with new fluid. So one of the first things we wanna do is we wanna remove the driver's side front wheel to give us access to the actual fill port on this transmission. The, there's a plug in the side of the transmission that you take out and that's where you fill it from, or at least check the level with anyway. Wow, it's stuck. Okay, with the tire out of the way, if you look back just behind the CV axle, right there, that's the fill plug. That's where you're supposed to fill it or at least check the fluid. And why I say that is because you can also fill it through, there's a vent up top I'll show you later, that you can fill it really slowly through the vent with that removed. And then when, it, uh, when fluid runs out of that, hole right there, then you know it's full. But you can fill it through there too. So I'm using a 3 8 ratchet with a, uh, I don't know, 10 inch extension. It's a wobble extension with an eight millimeter Allen bit on the end, eight or five sixteenths. It's a good idea to blow the dirt out of that uh, out of that Allen prior to uh, or out of the plug. Blow the dirt out of the plug prior to sticking your Allen bit in there, just so that you don't strip it out. And you'll see there's fluid run out, running out of it already. Uh, it's also a good idea to put your drain pan under it, like I have, just for that reason. And looking at the bottom of the transmission this being the front of the car, right here is the drain plug and it's the same size as the fill plug, eight millimeter. And now we just let it drain for a couple of minutes. The torque on the drain and the fill plug is 35 foot-pounds, so just hand tight. But we're not going to put the fill plug in yet, obviously. These transmissions can be a bit of a pain in the ass to fill back up with fluid, but if you have two funnels, a conventional transmission funnel like the one on the left and then the small funnel like this orange one here, you can fill them through the side. Or if you have a flexible funnel, I don't have a flexible funnel. I had one, I ran it over. There also is another way to fill it through the vent in the top and I'll show you that later when we get the car back on the ground. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shove the small funnel in here and then I'm going to take a block of wood and rest it between the funnel and the sway bar. And that's going to hold the funnel at a little bit of an angle so the fluid runs into the trans. And then I'm going to put another funnel in that and I'm going to pour the fluid into this funnel. This should take about two quarts and you just fill it up until fluid runs out of the fill hole. When there's fluid running out of the fill hole, you know it's full. I should also mention that I have a drain pan. Oh, it's running out of the funnel because I was filling it too fast. I have a drain pan sitting underneath the car to catch the fluid when it uh, comes out. Oh, you guys are shaking there.
Okay, there's fluid running out the drain fill. So I'll remove our funnels, remove our two by four. So you can see the excess fluid is running out. We'll let that run out until it slows down to a dribble. That way our transmission won't be overfilled. One thing I just want to point out real quick that it's pretty important that you either use a universal uh, joint or you use an extension with a wobble end on it because trying to get into that plug, there's a part of the subframe kind of lines up directly with it so you can't get a straight shot at it. So just having that little bit of movement in the end of that helps tremendously. So we're going to go ahead and shove that on there and we're going to feed this thing through here and get our plug started. Both of these plugs, the drain plug and the fill plug, have an O-ring integrated into them. And the torque is 35 foot-pounds which isn't crazy tight, it's just a little bit past snug if you're not familiar. Okay, now I'll lower the car down and I'll show you the vent on top of the transmission that can be used as an alternative way to fill the transmission. Looking down from the top side of the engine on the driver's side, which is your transmission side, Right down there is the vent, and you'll see this plastic line comes up, comes up, and it clips into right here. So if you just pop that out of there, like that, then you just reach down in here and just pull that straight up out of there. That is the vent right there, and then that hole right there is where you could also add your transmission fluid to it. Now. If you use that hole for filling your transmission, you have to leave the fill plug out of the transmission because that's what sets the fluid level. Basically, it's gonna be just under two quarts of fluid. If you drain all the fluid out, it's gonna hold just under two quarts of fluid. So you'll pull that plug out anyway. If I guess you could do it without doing it. You could measure the amount of fluid that comes out of it and then just add the same amount of fluid back in it. But I'm telling you, it's just under two quarts of fluid. So ideally, you'd, you'd pull that fill plug out You'd fill it through here. When the fluid starts running out of the fill plug, you'd wait for it to stop, you know, drizzling out till it's just a slow drip. Then you plug it and you put your vent back in, and then you're golden. Just gonna put our vent back in place. Clip the line back where it was clipped, and we're done. So this transmission was really simple to service, as you saw. I mean, it, yeah, I have a hoist, but you could do it, you know, with jack stands and jacks. It's not that hard. Some of the transmissions, though, especially on the GM platform, it's easy to fill them from the top. You drain it from the bottom, but you still have to pull that plug out to see, you know, when they're full. Another alternative method would be to buy a bucket like this. I bought this bucket off Amazon, and it's got uh, measurements. Um, it's got liters here. It's got quarts ounces, gallons, and you can literally just measure how much fluid you take out of it, um, and then you put that much fluid back in it. You could even use this for that purpose. So anyways, listen, I'm all done. I'm rambling. If you guys made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.